My name is Ray Lawton Slager. I work with what Roz in her end calls the private custody issues, which to the common people would be called the issues of custody uh, for men, women, when it involves parents that are not married or parents that have gone through divorces. We have been told through various agencies that fathers never want to be involved. This is a fallacy. The problem is that we have a very poorly written, what we call shared parenting law in the state of Ohio. And actually that's a very poorly written shared parenting laws in all 50 states. And what this shared parenting law does is it takes a fit parent and removes them from the life of a child or reduces their participation. To an end, this is damaged society. Damaged society tremendously. A couple of statistics. Daughters of single parents without a father involved are 53% more likely to marry as teenagers, 711% more likely to have children as teenagers, 164% more likely to have premarital birth. 92% um, percent are more likely to get divorced. We have a divorce rate in this country that hovers on first marriages at 50%, 50 to 52%. Second marriages, it runs in the range of about 65%. Eighty-five percent of the children who exhibit behavioral problems come from what are classified as fatherless homes. I'm a single father. I raised my son on an equal basis with my ex-wife. One week with me, one week with her. I was fully engaged. And I have, at 24 years old, a productive member of society. We have a problem with the law. To that end, my, what I do is I have written and introduced four separate bills in the Ohio legislature to correct this problem. Through my research, and that's, this is part of what this report is, I've found that this problem of automatically removing fit parents costs the state, every one of you, a collective $10 billion a year. We have no reason, except in the extreme conditions, for any third party to tell a family how they will raise their family post after their personal relationship That's right. has broken up. That's right. Judge Capers, I would not come into your house and tell you how to raise your children. That's right. And I would certainly expect, that's right, but there should be no one but the family that controls the family. That's right. I'll agree with you on that. It's a simple process. Put it back in the hands of the family. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. If you want your children to grow up to be productive, keep both 
the fathers and the mothers involved. Let them make their decisions. I have seen cases where judges have told families that they cannot practice their religion because it disagreed with their own. One minute. One minute. It's not the way it should be. You have a freedom in this country. Oh, and you need to have that happen. We'll be bringing this bill back come January in the Ohio legislature. Similar legislation that I've written will be at that same time introduced in Nebraska.